here in the Fox 6 Win by Carrier Kitchen this morning, and we are with Casey Ward as well as Chelsea Silkowski from Birdie Lounge in West Hartford. We're happy to have you both here. Thank Welcome you so much. So much. Appreciate All right, it. so people might think that this is new, and it is new, but it's sort of a new concept for a restaurant yes. that has already been there that you've already been heading up. Talk yes, to us a little is, bit about that, so, Casey. So uh, we had Flora. Mm -hmm. Flora, very thankful for the five years that we had with it. And a very now, cool spot, yeah. yeah now we've uh, switched it over to more like our Newington restaurant, Rooster Company. Rooster so this Company. is like the um, the cocktail sister restaurant of uh, of Rooster Company called Birdie Lounge. So we're and in we're doing, here, we're doing a bon me. We are. This is like one of my absolute favorite mm -hmm. sandwiches. Yes. Um, I th it was probably like 10 years ago. It really kind of blew up on the scene. It really did, yeah. Man, I made like a pilgrimage all over Connecticut trying like who's got the best one. Like, and I back then there know. weren't as many no, spots. No, no, it was tough. Right. And so, I mean, really the, the fundamentals of it, um, it just has to do with uh, the, the French influence on Vietnam. Yes. And so yeah. you have to have a baguette, a great baguette, good bread structure to it. You Toast it off, and then you. So what's the sauce go that from there? Going? So I have a miso mayo. It gives a little bit of yeah. umami to it. I have a foie gras um, mousse. So I spread that on. So if you have the elements of pickled vegetables, cilantro, pork. Uh, I also have prosciutto, so pork belly, and then uh, pate is pretty common, but uh, in this case, because we use the foie gras mousse on the menu, I'm using it here on the sandwich. And then you just assemble it. Um, so these are some pickled carrots. Actually, Chelsea was with me when we were picking all these, and uh, at the farm that we love working with, uh, Young Farm over in and where East Granby. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. They're great people. They. Um, they just grow everything with such integrity. It's wonderful. And that's always been really important to you to use Super local. Super important. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's like that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Yeah. You know. Um, so just a couple pieces of pork belly, prosciutto, bibbidi bobbidi boom, delicious sandwich. Looks good. So that's on our lunch menu. But we All have right. brunch, dinner. And you have what's exciting, I think, in not a lot of places. You have a late night. Yes. Menu. Yes. And that late night menu starts at ten. 10 until midnight mm -hmm. on Thursday, Friday, and That's Saturday. That's great. Because people need options for late night. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Not as many. All right, now, Chelsea, we're going to switch over to you. We've got a really tasty cocktail going here, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, trying to bring some new in innovative things. And uh, mm -hmm. lately, I've been trying to do some unusual pairings. So um, right now, I'm doing a Repsado tequila cocktail, and it has a piece of liqueur. It's called Little Piece of My Heart, which is uh, obviously a play on words. There's a beautiful heart illustration on this Mikampo as well. Um, so this drink is going to be a little bit nutty, but it's going to be also a little savory, so you can drink it not only as a dessert, but everything else. Um, right, let's throw it together. Yeah, so I've already pre-mixed everything here. A couple dashes of cardamom bitters on top, and then we'll shake it up. Should I do the honors? Sure, why not? <laughs> Perfect. Like a pro. Now I know you have to tap That's it the okay. right away. <laughs> so we're just going to take that off. I'll strain it into our glass here. So the cocktail program there is um, hopefully different than anything else well, in the area. Delicious. Well, thank you. Wow. Yeah, this, Chelsea's yeah. done a wonderful job. Is this one that you menu. created, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So all the drinks on the menu you should see are and kind of spray, little rose oh, water, that. and then some roses on the very top. Oh, wow. Nice. There you go. That is great. And the location that you have is really something else. It's yeah. a really special spot. You get a view. I mean, we're in West Hartford. Do you yeah. get a view? So, and when we uh, when we welcome people into a table, would you like a seat by the window? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. That sounds great. You know. Yeah. Uh, and it, it is. It's a nice view. So we're right across from uh, Whole Foods and Blueback. Um, lots of changes come to West Hartford. Yeah. I know they're planning on revamping like Farmington Ave, LaSalle Road, the whole, I mean, there's just so many there's wonderful places. There's a lot of places. new development it's, it's awesome. Yes. If you haven't been to West Hartford Center, you've got to go. You yeah, know? I know, and there's so many great options. But we're glad and excited for the changeover. Yeah. And we're glad that you're here. Me 